When do you do PDA? When do you not do PDA? This is a question that some people ask and have been asking in, in this course. Well, let me answer by referring to an exercise that you've done on traveling from uh, the center of America, St. Louis, Missouri, all the way to Los Angeles in 2015, or going from St. Louis to the West Coast, which we have not yet found, in 1803. If you are traveling from St. Louis to the West Coast in 1803, and you don't know where the West Coast is, and you don't know what lies between yourself and the West Coast, and you don't know if you need a boat or a horse or a wagon, and you don't know if you need a doctor or someone with a gun or a guard, and you don't know if you're going to live or if you're going to die, you need PDA. Why? Because you know your problem. We need to get from here to somewhere and you don't know much else. You are forced in this case to find and fit your solution as you go. You're forced to make sure that you face up to your problem and that you move ahead but that you learn an incredible amount as you go. You're basically making it up as you move along. But if you're in St. Louis, Missouri and you're at the airport in 2015 and someone calls you and says, we need you in Los Angeles as quickly as possible, but you have to go by road, you don't need to PDIA this. This is logistics. This has a known solution. It is in your phone. Just Google map the thing, get into a car and drive. You don't need any special technology. You don't need anything. This is something that you don't need to iterate around. You don't need to learn. Now here's the interesting thing. The reason why you don't need to learn this in 2015 is because we've learned about it over the last 200 years because Lewis and Clark went to the West Coast in 1803. And people went there after Lewis and Clark. And over time they iterated less and less and less. And over time they had to learn less and less and less. Why? Because the people before them had done the learning and had put the learning into some codified form called maps or whatever that solved the problem. So you need to ask yourself, is my challenge an 1803 challenge where I kind of know the direction I need to go in, I know kind of what the problem is I want to solve, but I don't know much else and so I have to learn it for the first time? Or is it a 2015 challenge where people have done it before and I just need to copy them? Now when you ask the question, I do want you to be careful of one risk. Sometimes people will look at their challenge in their country and they'll say, hey, this is an 1803 challenge. I know nothing. But the Germans have solved this challenge. So there it's just 2015. So why don't I copy what they did because then it'll work. Uh-uh, can't be done. If you think about it, in the United States in 1803, they knew how to get from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. and New York City because that route had already been developed. There were roads, there were ways of going. People had done that part of the country. Now, if they'd said, let's take the lessons from going from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. and just replicate that going west, here's the problem. A couple of big rivers, a mountain range, a whole lot of tribes that had never ever seen white people before and this was a completely different set of contextual issues that a going east route would not have resolved. So don't take other people's 2015 solutions and apply them to your 1803 problem. If you have an 1803 problem you need to PDA. Face the problem, iterate, learn and then over time see if you can make it something that is less complex.